CJ Flyer sitting in my dining room this morning in a small town Kansas USA getting ready to do a unboxing of my five-in-one water sensor I think that's what it's called uh, that just came in today all the way from China not China Mart but China I bought this off of eBay after comparing prices and I've ordered from China before off of eBay and had no issues. This came in about, so right at two weeks, which is what the advertised uh, shipping time was. was. And it uh, comes from a seller called goodluckbuy.com. And hopefully that's a good thing, not a, a sarcastic remark. But uh, noticing all the, uh, the cities that are um, written on the tag here, uh, Hongxiao and and uh, Shenzhen and uh, Guangdong and I uh, fly for a living and I was just over there about a month and a half ago I had not even that long about a month ago and it's uh, interesting to see all these cities that I've actually been in and out of so with that let's unbox this thing I have a hydroponic set up out back and uh, that is what this uh, five-in-one monitor is for and uh, looks like they've got it all cellophaned up here so we'll get that cut off. That's a little kit. I've seen people in uh, the United States uh, have these for sale also. Let me turn it over. Uh, but the price was uh, pretty good there from, from China. And I think they all come from China anyway. Uh, regardless. So we have some foam packed straight from the factory. Looks like it's uh, a little how-to operational manual I imagine the uh, translation coming from China might be kind of interesting they always are but uh, there's that and then the unit itself and a little protective uh, membrane or skin here I guess yeah, which is interesting it looks like it uh, I'm just noticing the camera here I just took it out of view sorry uh, anyway, uh, a little membrane here covering the whole unit, which kind of makes it hard to read. Let me see, we got pH, we got temperature, and we have uh, parts per million here, uh, ECCF parts per million. And uh, we have the probe attached to it, and then the uh, PPM, I'm sure, probe uh, that will attach. Also, looks like they've got a cap over the end here. Looks like I'm going to have to scoot over here so I don't block out the camera. But a little cap, and then of course the attachment here for the monitor. And uh, that is the parts per million because I can see the bulb and the very tip here on that. So, um, a USB type connection for the power source there and um, a little adjustment screwdriver and uh, suction cups and some sort of bracket to go on the back of it and that's that so the USB connection in the side and then it has some uh, little holes there for hanging it and also probably for this little bracket if I can get it out of here. There we go. I imagine the bracket fits right up in here like so. And then you can just kind of let that set on a uh, or clip onto a tank or whatever you want to do on that. The tank I have is uh, about, uh, let's see, it's a 100 gallon tank. So I'll mount this up on the wall you know, next to it. And it's got plenty of length, it looks like, uh, for the probes here. So I'll be able to mount this up, you know, fairly high and then just let this, uh, let the probe come on down into, uh, into the tank itself. So I think I'll go ahead and leave the membrane on here, the, uh, the cover on here. I think it'll further uh, protect the unit. Um, folks, I wish I could remember what I paid for it. Um, I don't see an invoice in here anywhere, so I, I, I can't tell you that. But uh, it was oh, probably 20 to $25 cheaper, even with shipping uh, from China, to, uh, to go ahead and purchase from this company. So 
Uh, we're going to fire the thing up and see if it works and uh, we'll, we'll show you some video of that once I get it installed. Okay folks, you see the monitor installed. I put it in about two weeks. It's been online for about two weeks now. And it is functioning as normal, as advertised. On the left side, you see the pH. Center is temperature, right side is PPM. The temperature can be switched between Fahrenheit and Celsius. The right uh, side gauge here will uh, switch between EC, CA, I'm sorry, EC, CF, or PPM. Um, I've got it on PPM right now. Uh, this little yellow screwdriver is uh, supplied with a kit and is meant to calibrate or help calibrate or adjust the pH readout. I don't have a pH solution that's a, non, or a known quality, so um, I have used swimming pool test strips to give me the range so uh, I know whether this readout is accurate or not, and indeed it is accurate based on the test strips. So I'm okay with that. My water quality is not hypercritical here. I don't have fish in the system. I don't have an aquaponic set up yet. So I'm really just using kind of a, uh, a gauge, a rule of thumb type of uh, readout here to, uh, to shoot for using a pH up or down. And uh, I'm not really messing with the temperature at all and PPM varies based on uh, the nutrients that I've mixed up into the water and so forth. So anyway, install was very simple, just plugging it in, putting the probes in, and uh, turning the switch on on the side. It has a built-in battery, uh, rechargeable battery with it, so if you do lose uh, AC power, it uh, will back up and not to lose your readings. It doesn't say how long that battery is good for, um, but uh, there is one supposedly installed. So, is it worth the value? I think so, $87, free shipping. Um, it did come from China, and folks, I highly recommend staying in the United States for your purchases. That's my first uh, uh, effort every time. However, occasionally there's enough money difference, um, and my curiosity gets the better of me, and uh, so I look for another source. Had I been able to buy this here in the United States for $87, I would have gone that way, you betcha. But, uh, as it stands, looking and uh, doing my shopping, which was not an exhaustive search by any means, uh, but uh, doing my search, uh, the, the cheapest I could come up with this same type of meter was about $25 to uh, $45 uh, more expensive if I would have ordered here in the United States. So with that, once again, not endorsing buying stuff from China necessarily, just saying, hey, uh, there are some sources out there. Stick with the United States if you can but uh, there are other sources out there available. So with that, folks, that uh, sums up the review. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. Uh, is it worth the value? I think it is. And uh, if you're looking at uh, one of these types of meters, uh, take a look at this. Um, if not uh, the one exactly from China, the others uh, that uh, do the same type of thing, and I think you'd be happy with it. So with that, CJ Flyer, Backyard Kansas, USA, God's blessings and Godspeed.